do you guys think? Welcome back. We're finally streaming again today. And uh, hi, hi everybody. We tried free. No, we can't even talk. We tried streaming on Friday, and there was some problem with my ISP. Sorry, I'm just looking down at the the frame rate right now and the drop frames and stuff and the stream stats. But yeah, there was something. I tried everything. I even tried streaming privately to Twitch. I did all sorts of stuff. I tried uninstalling a ton of stuff, reinstalling stuff. Uh, I, I updated everything and it was just a problem, I think, with my internet provider. So, it seems to be okay now. So, we'll try streaming and see how long we can go uh, before the lag becomes bone-crunchingly terrible. But so far, we uh, knock on wood, um, you know, it's good to go right now. So, we'll just we'll hope for the best. Now, we're going to make the orbital cannon... From yesterday good morning jonathan good morning everybody uh courtesy hello what's up sultan what's up welcome to the stream uh low sound oh is my sound low hold on is that better is my sound louder now there never was any lag no i promise you there definitely a hundred percent was lag i'm gonna i'm gonna tell you that right now i was um like watching the stream statistics in obs and obs was giving me telling me a hundred percent there was a ton of lag but it's gone now. I don't. I don't see any. And what do you mean my sounds low, guys? My sound is like I haven't changed my sound settings. What? What is it, the music too low? You mean my volume? Um, like no, I, I just I just listen to myself. It sounds okay. We're we're okay, guys. We're okay. Let's try not to let's try not to ruin everything. Let's just try and. I mean, you could turn up your audio a little a little bit better, but it's a little. I mean, I have it cranked. I don't know. I don't know how I could adjust it any higher. Why did I cancel it yesterday? Well, I canceled it Friday because, like, my internet provider was dead. So I tried, every time I tried streaming, my internet would just die. It wasn't, it wasn't working at all. It was, I don't know why. Something to do with my internet. The, oh my god, look, Cosmo's here, guys, in chat. Can everyone just, like, ping? You got lag? If you got lag, refresh. I'm watching right now. I'm watching the statistics. I'm making sure we have no lag. We're good, guys. Okay? We're good. Trust me. So what we're going to try to do today is we're going to try and make a uh, orbital GPS cannon drone thing. So it'll G be GPS controlled. We'll send it coordinates and it'll go to those coordinates and start shooting at those coordinates when we tell it to shoot. And then it'll stop shooting uh, when it goes away. And we're just going to use these cannons from the mod pack. I know like we were, I was debating on lasers and stuff. Um, but the lasers with the custom script, I'd have to do a bunch of work with that. And these mod pack cannons in the mod pack beta, they work great. If we can do this and they have an explosion radius the thing with the laser is it doesn't have an explosion radius so it's not going to make like like it blows up but only when it hits something dead on whereas this will explode with kind of more of a i don't know it's just gonna be better it's gonna be a watermelon orbital cannon okay guys that's that's how it's gonna work all right first time i've seen you in a live stream oh see me live see your uploaded streams though love your channel thank you so much really appreciate it look at the flamethrower yes i did see the flamethrower the flamethrower is epic we're not gonna use the flamethrower though today but yeah the flamethrower where is it here this thing right so there's the small one and the large one and they light wood on fire and it's pretty awesome but we're not gonna look at that and uh brent warned me that sometimes they can actually cause crashes so we're just gonna we're just gonna avoid that use the halloween cannon you mean this one this one, this one, like, how does this, this isn't even practical. First of all, it's a, a black void, which looks creepy. But this one's, like, not even practical. Like, when you, look at this. It fires a homing skull. Right? Like, like, how, how useful is that? I mean, you wouldn't even need, oh boy. Right, you wouldn't even need anything, but I don't I don't know if they do damage or not. But the, the watermelon cannons, these things definitely do damage. So Escape from a haunted prison. First live stream. What's up? Welcome to the stream. Sorry. Yep, yeah, what holy yeah, I know, right? It's really cool. It's like a scripted thing and it homes, it'll follow you, but um yeah, we're not gonna do that. Anyways, we're gonna make it with four cannons. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have them hang and aim down and then hopefully we can spin them so that it creates kind of like a cylindrical cone of cannonballs. And then that way, you know, it'll do a ton of damage. Yeah, now that's a lot of damage. Exactly. So that's that's my hope is that we'll just do... So we'll do this real quick. We'll set that up. Just something like this, right? And then, you know. 
we did this last stream and then everything crashed so you know maybe maybe this was the reason maybe it actually wasn't my internet maybe it was just flat up the design was not good but let's uh we'll just figure it out it's fine right something like this something like that and then okay so that'll be the uh launching mechanism that we use whoops and then we'll spin this whole thing and then hopefully by spinning it we can get more of like a cone shape but we have to hang it upside down too so let's do that um and we'll just uh mount it to something here real quick And then, you know, let's just fill in these gaps because I'm going to accidentally delete that and break the whole thing. So it'll be a huge problem. Perfect. Nope. Come, come here. Come here. Okay. First time I watch your live stream. Awesome. Really appreciate it. First time seeing you live. A lot of people. Con fan. Wait, no, that's there's no way. I, I remember your name in a different stream. The music is loud. I can turn down the music. That is not a problem. I can turn it, turn it down. Is that a little bit better? Is that better on the old music end? Turn it down, please. Yes, no. Way, I, I, I think I think it's good. I can hear myself. What's up, Alex the Random? Welcome to the stream. Chris Fox, what's up? Games, nice. Never been live. Diamond, what's up? Wow. Eat flex tape for charity? No, I'm 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 good. Thanks. I'm I'm good. I, I really don't want to eat flex tape for charity. Question. Jonathan Bryan says, question, uh, how do you plan on negating the kickback of the cannon on a flying vehicle? Answer, daily double, uh, double jeopardy. No, I plan on having thrusters on the top that every time it fires, the thruster will fire at the same time, and that'll counteract the upwards cannon velocity. I don't know why. I've done this three times now, guys. I am so out of it today. It's fine. I drank, like, two cups of coffee with breakfast and now i am just way too uh this is this is just so frustrating this stupid thing all right perfect 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 make it fly with gps yeah that it is gonna fly with gps 100 percent. you're gonna control it from the ground all right so this is my test rig and we're gonna do this just to see if uh rotating it will cause it to explode i remember when i was shooting them up and rotating them they exploded when we tried to shoot and rotate at the same time so we'll try it here uh and just shoot down and see if we can actually rotate it while shooting without it you know breaking the whole system so we'll put an engine wire that up won't turn that on just yet and then we'll put a um, like a really simple pulse timer i guess get some logic out here why do you paint every bearing? Because I just, I think black bearings look cooler than orange bearings. I don't know. I feel like on a creation, I think bearings like really stick out when they're orange, but when they're black, they kind of blend in better. They look like better on creations. I don't know. It's, it just looks better. Return to my drone mothership build. Well, I built, um, oh, that, oh, that one. Oh, oh yeah. I should probably get back to that, shouldn't I? Now that we can make really good drones, I should make a drone mothership. With like all these interceptor drones that just launch and kill people yeah that would be i should i should really do that i totally forgot about that um anyways stuff logic yes let's do that logic so just um like this right just some xor right ticker and then ticker I'm gonna have them all shoot at the same time. Oh, they can't even shoot that fast anyways. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold Okay, 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 you know what? We're gonna need to take we're gonna need to take camera shake off here. We're gonna need where is the camera? There we go. That's that's gonna be better for now. We'll put it on after. Um I guess the question is, do they even need I don't I don't know if the cannons actually need ticker oh they do okay well so much for that okay 
Okay, okay, okay. So now let's spin this. Every time. Every time. That's like... <sighs> yeah, no, I would say... I, I wanted to make it kind of Spudling style, just to shoot, like, lots of them, but... Um... I don't think you can spin the cannons and shoot them at the same time. I think they just, like, they'll just explode if you do that. I don't think, like, I literally don't think there's anything you can do about it. It's a self, yeah, a self-destruct button. Well, we're going to put a self-destruct button on this, on this drone anyways, but that'll be something else. Hold on. Okay, let's... The good news is we can replace the cannons pretty easily. like that okay so the question i guess becomes can we spin it at all like is there any speed we can spin it at where it won't break and then after this the rest of it's gonna be easy guys the gps part okay actually we should use a gas motor or an electric motor what am i talking about um here we go the reason I want to spin it, sorry, just so I can, I guess I'll explain that. The reason I want to spin it is so that, like, the bullets, you know, create a better pattern rather than just always being in a plus. But, I mean, if we can't spin it, we can't spin it. We'll just do it in a plus. Yeah, okay, that works great. Okay, okay, so it can spin at that speed. Is it just a gas motor? Okay, we'll spin it slow. Okay. Cool. Let's build the drone. Why not make it rapid fire? What do you mean rapid? So you guys want... Do you guys think it should be rapid fire? Like instead of shooting four, it should just shoot one, but in a straight line? That's what you're... That's what you want to do instead? I mean, we can do that. That's not... That's not a problem. Um... Did you guys, do you guys think that's a better option? So, okay, so here, vote in chat. Vote in chat. Vote one if you think rapid fire. Vote two if you think all of them at the same time, but spinning. Yes, rapid fire. It's beautiful. Love this channel. Thank you, man. Why'd you delete the other vid? Well, I didn't want to delete the other vid. I just, I didn't stream it because it, my internet kept dying. Two, rapid fire. Is two rapid fire or all at once? I don't even remember. What did I just say? Same time? Two? Two is all at once, wasn't it? Rapid fire. One. Rapid fire. Two. One. One. Two. You know, I don't even know. I don't even know. We're just going to do them all at once, okay? We're going to do them all at once and spin it. Because then it'll just be more explosives. And it'll just be better. I think that's I think that's what two was, wasn't it? Wasn't that what option two? Two is all at once? Yeah. Okay. Good, 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 good. Let's do it that way. Alright. Let's delete this. And uh, let's build some stuff, shall we? So we need a... We need a drone gonna use these thrusters it's gonna have this in the middle so we can start building you know let's just remove these cannons for now we'll just leave this sort of frame so we know what the relative size is at least that way it makes it a little bit easier to build and then we'll just do this and then like that um I think, like, I think this will be big enough. Yeah. And 
we're just gonna we're gonna paint as we go because it'll just make my life easier and then uh, we can adjust the throttle on these guys so that's not gonna be a big deal so I'll have to put the cannons on before we do that and then we're just gonna have the thing always aim like north in one direction make it like a minigun Why so far out? Um, well, the wider the wider the stance, the more stable this thing is going to be when it flies. I mean, we could bring them in a little bit. It's just gonna be it's just gonna be more stable if they're wider out. It'll just fly better. Plus, this thing spinning concerns me because I'm worried it's not gonna be I'm not gonna, it's not gonna be big enough if I put it too narrow. And then uh, we're gonna need an electric engine eventually. Yeah, yeah, we'll put one of those on. What else are we gonna need? We're gonna need just a whole ton of logic all right so let's do we need movement thrusters which can we put up top should probably be like right here yeah so it's gonna use like the the standard sliding movement stuff that we've done before for the other GPS drone. Right, so that's that. And then we need rotation thrusters to keep it always north. What's up, $5 super chat from Cheese Man? Or Chiz, Cheese, Cheese Man? I think it's Cheese Man. Make all four of them target separately so they don't need to spin at all. Make all four of them target separately. You mean like all four of them angle? Hmm. Like, do you just mean like rotate the angles inwards so they all aim down? The whole point of them spinning is just to kind of make more of a pattern. More of like a, a circular, cylindrical pattern. Can't you change the default color of the bearings so you don't have to paint them each time? I think, yeah, probably. I could in the game settings. And then every time the game gets an update, though, I'd have to go and do that. But, I, I mean, I guess I could, yeah. Uh, so these will rotate it north. Hold on, let's just do the north rotation first, because that's easy mode. Uh, so we need some number logic. And an exometer. And this thing. And so this will be our compass. I don't I don't really want to put it in the middle. Compass, which I believe is paint pointing towards zero right now, if I'm not mistaken. We can just check that to make sure. Yeah, zero degrees. Okay, so then we put two conditions on the compass. And we're just going to start basically just build the logic outwards so it's as evenly weighted as we can. So we'll start in the middle and just kind of work our way out. So uh, on the one side, we've got greater than and on the less, other side, we got less than uh, something like that. Right, like that. And then we've got two numbers, because we're going to give it like a one degree tolerance here. So, where is my tick button? Come on. There we go. So, this one's... Okay, I'll paint this white. And then we'll paint both of these black. So, if it's greater than one... And if it's less than negative one. Whoops. So if we rotate it. Oh, I guess we have to take it off the lift, right? Okay. Hold on, guys. Two seconds, and then I'll and then I'll read all the chat in the world. Um, so this way, it's just got to rotate like this, and like that, and then this one rotates like that. There we go. So now it'll always keep itself north oriented. So see if we spin it, uh, it'll just eventually spin its way back. Why is it getting caught so much? Really? It gets caught at like every little. It's a bit silly.
Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, actually, we'll leave that like that for now. But anyways, it'll always aim north. Okay, cool stuff. What are we doing? Kill on, I made a hovercraft advanced your explosive hovercraft. It was my first successful creation. Thanks for teaching me a lot. No problem, man. But who needs rotation when you can just do thrust vectoring? Listen, blue. Okay. Listen, listen, blue. Listen, give it a laser sight. The laser sight isn't going to be that far. Yeah, check out the flamethrowers. I know the flamethrowers are awesome. Uh, I don't want to use them yet just because they're, um, they're kind of, um, thingy. What am I talking about? What am I thinking? They're, uh, sometimes they're buggy, but, uh, and then Cheese Man says, I mean, make the cannons tilt side to side on a loop. Oh, that would work, wouldn't it? Like on a controller loop. So this wouldn't spin. You could just have them tilt like in and out. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave him spinning because to be honest, it's just gonna I'm just too lazy to change it. That's where we're at right now. It's we haven't even done much, but I'm just too lazy to change it. All right, so that's gonna be that. Um, actually, this is great. We can put the electric engine right inside here, and then to even out the weight, we can use metal. Whoops, I totally put that on the wrong side. On this side. There we go. Right, so that can be our electric engine, and then we'll put the cannons on, because we need to actually have the proper weight geared up for this thing. Okay. Of course the lift is in the way. Stupid... Uh, okay. There we go. Okay. Sick. That's gonna, that's gonna work. This is so cool what you're doing. Thanks, man. Hopefully they are accurate. I really hope they are too. Put a gyro for stabilization. Uh, won't need a gyro for stabilization. These thrusters are always going to aim up. And then the weight of the creation itself, of the, the center section, the weight will keep it um, stabilized on its own, hopefully. That's the idea anyways. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Now, on the last GPS drone thing, I did all the work like all the calculation stuff on like that little homing platform. I don't know if actually, I think we have all the mods for it. I'm pretty sure we do. Let me just check here. Um, yeah, let me check, 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 check this one. Yeah, we do. So like on this one, right? All the, like all the GPS thinking and stuff that all took place here on this circuit and the drone just received instructions on like move this way, move that way. Um, so I don't, I don't think I want to do it that way for this one. I think what I want to do is the opposite. And I want to have all the instructions on the drone. And all we do is send it some GPS information. Like, hey, I want you to go to this coordinate. And it'll just go to that coordinate. And as soon as it's at that coordinate, it'll start shooting. And then you'll send it to a new coordinate. So it's going to get one thing, one, one signal that turns it on and off to let you know that you want the drone on or off. And then the second signal is what GPS coordinate you want it to go bomb. And that'll be pretty much it. So I think what we got to do right now is build the radio transmitter. And then we can start doing more controls. You can see that thing's always going to try and keep itself straight. Within one degree of north. Oh, it's going to take forever. Oh, because I because I put this on a... Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. It'll be okay. So I think that's what we do. We got to build the transmitter. And uh, that shouldn't be too much effort. So we'll just we'll just lay this out. And uh, get that done. So you don't need a seat or anything. Um, all we're going to need is like an XYZ. Which will well, actually not even an XYZ. Just an X and Y that you want it to go to. And then a transmitter to transmit that data. And then something to send the like firing command stuff. Pretty much. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. X, Y. Eat some watermelon? Wait, what? Can you make it, like, cool, or will it be a flying box? I mean... At first, it's gonna be a flying box while we try and figure out all the logic. And then once we get the logic down, then, yeah, we can do some aesthetic stuff to make it look a little bit better. 
um, I don't want to make it, like, huge or anything. I want to make it kind of, like, small, just so it sort of, like, floats up on its own and does its own thing. But anyways. Alright, so this is X. Our X coordinate. And that'll be this guy. And Y will be the other one. Four, one, two... And two buttons, and like... Okay, so that's good. And we'll need a transmitter for each of those. And then, you know what, we'll just actually put the transmitter... Um... Yeah, hold on, hold on a second. Let me think about this. And then we need... What else do we need? We need two switches, right? One does, one switch turns it on and the other switch starts firing. Those are those are the two switches. So this will be the on-off switch. And this will be the fire switch. And those go to another transmitter. Laggy. I don't see lag. Lag is okay. Guys, we haven't dropped frames yet. We're okay. Knock on wood. Nice. Yes, we are going to make this thing... I, this is pretty much... This is a pretty neat build. Yeah, I pretty it's pretty awesome. Um, I hope this works. Now, I gotta remember how to do the stupid remote control logic. So, you need a number, and we need to feed the number of logic gates. I can't remember. I need the demo set up. I, I never remember this. There's a sequence you gotta do. Uh, RC demo. I keep this just for good reference, because I can never remember what it is. Conditions go to logic, go to number. Yeah, okay. So the colored logic goes to number. So like this can be orange and this can be red, whatever. And they both feed to a number. Like that. And then that number gets transmitted. And all these, hold on. They're all just going to be different colors and share one channel. That's how we're, you know, that's how we're going to do it. Okay, guys? Because I'm just, I just, I'm too... So here we go. So like this, like this, and like this. And, you know, we'll just start here and go orange, um, orange, red, and pink. Right? And they'll all just share... I know this part's like the least exciting because obviously this is just stuff that we need, but it's not really... All right, brown, right? Red will be that one. And X will be that one. And Y will be that one. Your scrap mechanic runs really slow. Yes. How long will this stream be? This stream is going to be as long as it takes me to build this thing and actually have it working. And uh, will I upload it to the workshop? Yeah, I'll upload it to the workshop when I'm done, for sure. Um, I usually do. And uh, we'll just seal this in here. And just make this a nice compact platform. And actually, you know what? We'll just do this with um, these things, bolts. Here we go. Alright, so this will be your orbital cannon destruction station. And you know what? We'll actually... I want to move those buttons. I don't like them there. We'll move them on the side. Just so that people don't accidentally press them for no reason. Alright. So those are your channel up, channel down buttons. Uh, and then we've got our X and Y coordinates. And then we've got, you know, the ability to change those. And we could repaint these buttons if we want to be more precise. And that'll display here. We can go negative as well. And then we've got activate the drone and then activate live firing sequence. So this allows you to activate. This allows you to fire. Um, and that'll be the whole shebang. So the green button will basically tell it to fly up. It'll go to a specific height on its own. And it'll control that height. 
and the red button will fire and it's not going to tell you the other GPS drone, it gave you information back as to where it was. This one's not going to do that. It's just going to go to the coordinate. You're just going to have to trust that it actually goes there properly. It's not going to relay any information back to the user. Will you try and make something like Gladiobots and Scrabble Mechanic? I mean, yeah. If uh, It would, it would be kind of cool. I thought about doing like AI versus AI stuff. I haven't done it yet, but it would be cool. Got to go. Bye. Thanks, Ronan. See you later. All right. So, now we got to send that data to this thing. Somehow. So, uh, three RC receivers. All set to the same channel. So, we'll do that. Uh, of course, this is... Um... Oh, hold on. This thing needs... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so it needs... First of all, it needs to know where it is. So that's going to be step number one. So let's put a GPS cap here in the middle. And that'll be three XO meters. So one, two, three. And this one will be altitude. And then this one will be pause X. And this one will be... Pause Y or position Y. Just like that. Perfect. How would you recommend starting YouTube? Um, generally speaking, you gotta, like, just post videos, really. I mean, like, I started just... I decided one day that I want to start posting videos, and then, you know, I posted a bunch of videos. And, I mean, it takes time and effort, and there's no, like, key formula to, like, hey, this is how you become successful on YouTube or whatever. There's no, everyone has, you know, different growth and different everything else, but, you know, post videos, play what you like, and try and build an audience around it, and, you know, it is what it is. Would I vote for Trump or stop playing Scrap Mechanic? Um, I mean, i do neither of those things, I guess. Um... All right, so those are our three positions, and then we got to receive all that extra data. We could encode the data and then receive it later, but anyways, let's, it's a whole other problem. We don't really need to do it that way. Okay, so this, um, this will be the channels for the RC stuff. Try to think what's going to be the easiest. You know what? Let's just do it like that. Because hopefully that'll outweigh. I'm trying to keep the weight as even as possible. That's the key is you want to make sure your weight is relatively even. So that's why you see me kind of placing stuff a little bit weird. Um, so there we go. And then red. Red was the stuff, the information, right? Receiving, receiving, and then X was pink, and then orange was Y. So here is X, so we'll make this one pink, and then orange on the other side is Y. Okay, perfect, and then this is red. Right? Yeah, so then let's just make sure that this is outputting stuff correctly. So I believe we have to go out to a number, and then to two logic gates, if I'm not mistaken. And our logic gates have to be colored correctly. And then I'll check chat. Sorry, guys. I know I'm, I'm not really... I'm being very unfocused right now. All right. So I think, I think that works. Um, wait, no, it doesn't. Why does that not work? Receiving on channel zero. I always screw this part up. No, see, now it's lit up both of them. I can never... See, this is why I have this stupid reference. I can never remember how this is supposed to be wired up on the other end. This goes out... Yeah, it goes to a number. The number... Oh, okay, okay, okay. See, that's the... I always screw this up. There's, you have to wire it a specific way, otherwise the logic just flat up doesn't work. And it's kind of silly, but that's just the way it is. Sorry, guys. And then I and then I promise I will check chat. So this goes to this, like that. There we go. That feeds to both. And then these feed to logic gates, which in turn will change it to what we need it to be. 
right? Correct? Yeah, so we've got the orange on means orange on means the one that on there. And we can paint this one red even though it doesn't matter. And then if we turn on the red, we've got the red one there. And if we turn on both, we get both. And if we turn off both, we get none. Perfect. Put eight cannons, four fire at once, so then it's rapid fire four at a time. I mean, I could do that. The... The one thing I don't want to do with um, with eight cannons four at a time is it just might have too much kick. Because we're going to have to counteract all the kick with downwards thrust. But we can always add to that after. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so that's getting information now. So now the next thing to do is have it when we turn it on to go up to a thousand blocks. So orange is the turn on. And yeah. Or up to 2,000, 3,000 blocks? 2,000 blocks? Actually, first of all, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. First thing we gotta do is figure out how much thrust we need to actually lift this stupid thing off the ground. That's what we really need. And we need something that actually turns the thrusters on and off. So, that's not going to be the way to do it. God dang it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really dumb today, guys. Okay. We need a math block. Math blocks multiplication. Now, I got to remember how the gimbal thruster receives its number power value. What's the power from... Default power is 100. Switch to toggle and number input to set the power. What face cam do I have? I just have a Logitech webcam. Nothing too fancy. I think like a 920 is the name of something. Brent. Brent said chat. Brent. It's going to go up to uh, 2,000 blocks just like the delivery drone did. So it'll be nice and high up above the ground. Maybe 2,500. Brent, which one's the power and which one's just the signal? You... Brent, Brent has all the answers, guys. Two shot. Brent, Brent, Brent needs the Brent, Brent with the answers. Brent Scare wrote it. That's why. Hey, do you know the most confusing holiday in what? Okay. So wait, wait, wait. Power sick. But okay, Brent's con Brent's confused, guys. It's fine. It's fine. We're just gonna give it a number. It's fine. Okay. Uh, orange multiplies by that so if the orange switches off the thrusters are off magical cool and then uh don't worry brent i got it i got it i solved it brent it's fine thanks brent thanks for your assistance okay and then on the one end we have this it's our default thruster power and uh that's gonna be however heavy we need it to be to offset the weight and then we're gonna have our going up thruster power which is gonna be this and um that's our channels. Okay. I guess actually we can just do this. Hold on, hold on. Perfect, okay. Okay, long story short, this number, right, plus this number, only when it's on, equals that. And that number is only on when our uh, height is less than our altitude, which we'll paint that, I guess, black. So when the altitude is less than this value here. Don't worry, this isn't confusing at all, guys. I promise. This makes total sense, I think. Okay, cool. So altitude is less than 2,000, so that switch is lit up, and then that switch is going to there, which will give us an additional thrust, and then this thrust will be always on when you turn on the switch. So when we turn on the switch, when we turn on the... We'll just bring, you know, we'll just bring this closer. That's fine. So when we turn on this switch, right, it... Um, it does nothing. Oh, that's because this is zero. Right, 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 right. We need to give this some initial thrust. Hold on. There we go. There we 
There we go. Okay. And then if it's below, it'll also get the boost from this. Okay. Now the question is how much thrust do we actually need? 300. Alright. Now we'll see how this hovers when we get to 2,000 blocks in height. Oh, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so this will now sit at... Long story short, okay, really... I, I, guys, I know I'm all I'm saying is okay, and I'm not actually explaining anything. I'm really terrible at this whole YouTube thing. Okay. Okay, okay, let's just calm down. Khan is secretly working for North Korea. <laughs> yeah, no, this is not this is not a North Korean secret weapons project, I promise. Why don't I stream on Twitch as well? Eh. Did I ever take a computer science course? I mean no. I, I took a few, I guess, but I never like got a degree in it or anything. Will it play Despacito? Uh yeah, for sure. That's actually what I'm working on right now. Will you try and make something like Gladiabots' scrap mechanic? Yes, 100%. I think I answered that already. Uh, at this point in time, I'm just sending out random messages, so sigh. Sorry, Jack. I know I haven't been reading the comments very much. What's up, the best? How are you going? How are you so good at this garbage stuff? I don't know. I've just been doing it a lot. Is there going to be a self-destruct button? Um, yes. We can actually... You know what? Let's put the self-destruct button... Yeah, you can't stream on YouTube and Twitch at the same time if you're a partner with either of them. That is true. But, what other games do I have planned for videos slash streams? Mini, Mini is asking. Mini, Mini, what are you, what are you, what are you doing, Mini? What are you trying to say, Mini? Hmm? Glitch weld 20 of those cannons in one cannon with some logic so you can get an explosive laser. Uh, so trash at YouTube that the logo is a trash can. 100%. What is my favorite piece from the mod pack? Um, the four number logic pieces, hands down. Only, only thing I really care about. Create a transformer. Yes. Use tr cannons on top to counteract the cannons on bottom. Guided missile launcher. Yes. Gotta do a GPS missile. Yes. This is going to be an orbital cannon. It's gonna fly up and just like the delivery drone, except it's gonna rain cannons down, because that's better. Play your indicator on it so you can target it. I mean, we could, but I don't have the I don't have the intelligentsia mod in here. Did I make it? I've made an AI plane before, by the way. I've made a um, an AI tracking plane using the intelligentsia mod. It was an autopilot plane shot at you. It was really accurate too. The thing flew like never. You can never stop it. Um, right. So, left is initial thrust, which needs to go up by about fifty. Right, just like that. Right is bonus thrust. Uh, Self-destruct button. Let's do that really quick. So that'll be this button in the back here. And that'll be uh, don't touch this button. Okay. Don't touch the black button. It'll blow up everything. Uh, but I'm assuming someone's going to anyway, so it'll be awesome. And then we'll put this here. And then we'll just, we'll cover the whole thing with explosives afterwards. Whoops, that's not what we wanted. Still not what we wanted. There we go. Now I want to go to there. Okay. So... Now it'll go to 2,000 blocks, no problem. Where, first of all, where are we at right now? Let's let's just check that. Portable GPS, perfect. So where are we? Uh, negative 19, 443. Okay. So let's just go like negative 20. And 443. Four... Alright, so 450, negative 20. That's gonna be somewhere like close by. <laughs> Probably like right here. I don't know, maybe? Negative 20. I don't know. It's, it's somewhere. Okay, and we don't need this anymore, so that's good. So we'll get rid of that. 
and let's just make sure that the self-destruct button works not wired up or anything but if we hit it I can't I can't tell if it's Why we test stuff. There we go. Okay, so that's lit up. That works. That wants to fly up. Yeah, perfect. And then let's uh, let's just put this here for now. Just I just want to test something. Does it have enough to fly? No. So it can't fly without the extra thrust, which is good. Okay. Um, and then what else does it need? Then it just needs the GPS tracking stuff and then the shooting stuff. And then uh, self-destruct stuff, and then we're I think we're good to go with all the stuff. Can't even make a remote explosive. What do you mean you can't make a remote explosive? I can I can make a remote explosive. You just use the there's just the I mean if you want to use this you can shoot it with a spud gun. One way is to do that. The other way is to just use these explosives from the mod pack. Which if you hook them up into logic they'll just blow up when you give them a logic. <laughs> totally true. Yeah. No, that's see, Brent. Brent knows what's up. He knows. He knows how's it going. All right. So, um, next is GPS movements. So to do that, it needs to be. There basically just needs to be a condition check in each direction. Uh, and then of course we have to figure out what those directions are because I don't I don't remember what they are so hold on um, shoot I don't remember which directions are which so if we go this way if we go to the left that's X negative and we go to the right that's X positive and we go up that's Y positive y negative okay so y positive y negative x positive x negative is that right x negative x negative okay so all right so let's do some stuff shall we We're just going to widen this all out a little bit. Just so we can put the logic right inside these arms and then we'll remove it after. I just don't want to accidentally, you know, delete it and then have to re-weld some stuff. Okay, so... Math block. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's move this out more. Let's move it like right out to the end so we can actually just have the checks on each side for each direction. Alright, hold on. And then I'll check. Sorry guys, I know I'm, I'm really terrible at reading chat today. It's been a... I play SM on low graphics. Yeah, cat is cool. Thanks man. Why isn't Slogal Man in this? Wait, what? Your butt large? That's uh, an unfortunate problem. I want to skip till it's done. Yeah, I know. Sorry, me too. Me too. I want to skip till it's done too. I promise we'll get there. Okay, so... X was um, pink, right? Okay, hold on. So there we go. So X, Y. We just need them to be um, black or white numbers so we can actually put them into the comparisons, right? So X is pink, so it goes to these two. And Y is this one, so it goes to the other two, right? Like that. So now see that because they have to be black feeding in because you have a black dot and a white dot. So one of them's got to be black, one of them's got to be white. And then the white side will be our own coordinates here. So 
X on this seat side feeds there and X feeds there and then Y feeds there. Oh wait, I'm an idiot. No, am I? No, I'm not an idiot. Right, so now I just need to check. So... If the one... So, hold on. This is X negative, which means if our coordinate here, X, is greater than the other one, then we need to move that way. Right. And if our component Y... If our Y component... Four fifty. This is I. This is where I'm getting all confused. Uh, don't worry about the spider web. Yeah, guys, don't just ignore ignore the spider web. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. So okay. So hold on. So okay. What is our our Y coordinate right now? We're telling it to go to four fifty, and we're at like. 436 so it wants to go up yeah no, okay that's right and then this one yeah okay so this should be good so this one and then we need to have them go through a, another a signal majumder guy okay okay we're good we're good we're good Whew, guys this is i'm sorry it's i know i know it's a little bit confusing the thing with the number logic which is different from the actual logic is um when you're doing number logic you basically have to keep track of everything in your head or you have to make a bunch of like number displays to help give you like the debug information you need. Otherwise, it's just impossible to see what's going on. And we're going to multiply all these by the start signal. That way it doesn't move unless you give it the signal to move. Um, right, so then this one moves us that way. This one moves us that way. This one moves us that way. And this one moves us that way. And we'll drop all these. So like in theory, this should fly now and land somewhere. Okay, so let's, let's try it, let's try it. Let's see if it moves to this position, give or take. So, 538 and 0 on the X. So, let's go... There's actually X0, pretty much, and 540. Okay, so 0, 540, and it should move from here over to there at a block height of 2,000. So, 0 and We have no display. Con, what's up? What's up? Prepare for test. Yes. So it's not going to shoot or anything yet, but we'll see if it actually... We'll, what we'll do is we'll leave it for a bit until... Um, I don't know. until so, And then we'll turn off the switch and see if it drops straight down right there, give or take. And it should. Number logic is like programming, but more fun. I love it. Number logic is, yeah. Blue, I will get it back. Blue flame, listen. This is the kill switch. Okay, if we turn off the green switch, it'll come back down. Uh, worst case scenario, it's at 2,000 blocks in height. You know what? We can go check on it. Let's go check on it, okay? Just to make sure it's actually hovering at 2,000 blocks in height. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. That was a stupid idea. It's fine. It'll recover. Look at that. Look at it recover. It, it'll recover. The gimbal thrusters. Alright, so it's it's definitely staying at that height. See, it doesn't. it's not going to fly higher than that. And basically what happens is when it goes below the 2,000 in height, it increases its thrust. And then when it goes above the height, it decreases its thrust by like an additional 200, I think. So that's basically, it's just regulating its throttle, which is the same way the other GPS drone does it. Um, so it's it's now where it wants to be. You can see. All right. So now we just need to have it shoot. I think it's good.
Please hit it one more time. Okay, okay, fine. We'll hit it. Let's see if we can do a really, really powerful one. This is with the gimbal thrusters. Now, the reason this works is because the gimbal thrusters always aim up, and the weight of the creation, the majority of the weight, is below the thrusters. So, it's kind of like naturally balancing with its own weight. There we go. So you can see as it swings, the, the cannons are heavier than everything else, so it just kind of flops around. But the gimbal thrusters, they always point up, so it doesn't really fly out of control. It's still, this is the main reason why you see the gimbal thrusters are always still aiming up. So eventually it'll stabilize itself. But that's why you want to try and make it as evenly weighted as possible. Right? Cool stuff. Okay, let's go back down. All right, now let's see how accurate it is. So if it's got good accuracy, we turned it off. So it should be falling and it should land pretty close to this. That's pretty, that's pretty good guys. That's, that's pretty, that's pretty good. That's, I'm not going to lie. That's, that's amazing. All right. Put explosives in it. Yeah, yeah, the self-destruct button. Guys, gonna have a self-destruct button. Don't worry. That way when you're bombarding your friends, if he's like, hey man, what are you doing? You just press the button, you go, I don't I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't do I didn't do anything. Alright, so that's that. Um now we need the fire controls. And we need to try spinning this stupid thing. Okay, I wanna I would actually try something. If we spin this beforehand, does it kill it? Where's my uh, orange one? This one. So if we hook this up to the engine, does this make it, like, uncontrollable? Like, can we just have it spin all the time? Interesting enough, the... Um, the torque from the motor spinning is too much. Like you can see, it can't fight the torque. It can't. It can't actually fight the torque of the own its own motor. Do you see that? It's actually. It's always going to be skewed now. That's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Save. 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 Fine. 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 You guys are. You guys are worried more about it than I am. Listen. If I. If I break the whole thing, we just have to stream for another like three hours. That's what happens, right? I mean, last time it was Minnie's fault. Make it so when the drone. Has no controls for a second, it blows up. You know what? We might just have to do it without the rotation. I don't like ugh, because it's gonna it's gonna need more thrust to fight that otherwise. Save it. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I have to do it without the rotation. I think that's what we do. I think we, we take off the rotation. Because otherwise the torque is gonna... I didn't even think of the torque at the time. But I think that's how you do it. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just weld this to that. Perfect. Oh my god. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. This is why we this is why we Bye. 
Okay, hold on. We got sorry guys, I just wanna I wanna fix this. We're just gonna have all four of them shoot at the same time. Cause like why not YOLO swag? That'll just be easier. I don't know. Wasn't YOLO swag a thing a while ago? Like two years ago, five years ago. I'm behind the times. Okay, here we go. Oh no, dang it. Okay, I just wanna I just wanna get this hooked back up. This is uh, not going to weld properly. Hold on. Oh, perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Delivery drone or orbital cannon. All right. Just add cannons to the bottom. What happened to the white no gravity? Mini, Mini, the switch is off. Mini, Mini, don't have a panic attack. Mini, Mini's having a panic attack. No, the reason it's, it's, these are the thrusters that rotate it back to north zero. That's always on. There's no, there's no off control for that. See, so it always tries to, even when you put it on the ground, it's trying to rotate itself back to north zero. Right, and that way when you turn it on, then it'll actually rotate itself. See? All right, right, perfect. Looks really annoying. Yeah, I know it is. The other GPS drone, ugh. The other GPS drone did the same thing. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna be uh, two seconds. I'm just gonna go get some Kleenex here, and uh, we gotta actually make this thing more powerful too, so it moves faster. Hold on. Let's just uh, put that up. Put that up. All right. So that's that. Um, Okay, and then uh, when then we gotta do the tolerancing stuff. Yeah, perfect. Okay. All right, two seconds. I'm just gonna go get some Kleenex really quick so I can blow my nose because I'm like blah, and then I will be back and uh, we'll finish up with the cannon shooting things. So when it's on coordinate and you have the cannon fire switch on, it'll be good, and then we'll put a self destruct switch on it, and then we're good to go. But uh, I'll be back two seconds. By two seconds, I mean thirty seconds. Don't go anywhere. I saw you thinking about it. Don't do it. Okay, I'm back. One hour later. Jeez, it's been like 30 seconds. All right. So, we need to do fire command. If you won't make it shoot, make them shoot in sequence. Heavy metal disc that free spins in between the rotating part. So the disc takes the cor torque. I mean, yes, these are all valid. You know what? We're just going to, you know what? 
version 2.0, okay? We'll have a version 2.0 later that'll rotate. In the meantime, we're just going to make this thing shoot a lot. And we can do it. Yeah, we can have it, like, rotate through the, the cannons. That, that, that could um, do something. Okay, so what we need is um, coordinate checker that confirms that you're in the right coordinate. And if you are, then you can fire. So really simply, we just do this. On the one side, we do X um, minus its own X coordinate. And then Y minus Y, which is these two. Okay. And that absolute... If that absolute is less than a certain tolerance, then we're within a good range to shoot. Pretty sure. And then if both of those are acceptable, then you're within a good range to shoot completely. So, absolute. Absolute. And that absolute has to be less than some value. Which I think we'll do is like five blocks. So, absolute, whoops, okay, so if the absolute is less than some tolerance, which we'll put over here, and this tolerance will be this, and this will be, the circuit for these gets so bad because you're just basically laying everything down and then you're just remembering what you have connected to what, that's why it's really important to sort of keep it all in in your head properly as soon as you mess like as soon as you forget one thing or you leave or something then you have to redo it okay so if they're both less than five which they're not um if they're both less than five then and it's on. So if this is less than five, and this is less than five, and the red is the firing, which is on, correct? Then you can shoot. I think I think that's it. So this is our this is our trigger command right here. Um So I guess for now, let's just, you know what, let's just test it for now. This is gonna, this is gonna probably send it off to like the moon, but let's just test it and see if this works. Okay, so. Now it's gonna move to the coordinates, so let's tell it to go up. Which it's going to do. As soon as you turn it on, it goes up to above 2,000 blocks. And it'll just kind of sit there. What is the knockback of the cannons? Yeah, no, we haven't gotten that far yet. With the knockback of the cannons, it's just going to activate a thruster on top. And it'll it'll cause it to come back down. We'll have to check how bad that knockback actually is. That'll be the next step. Um, but, and then of course the firing sequence. So what do you guys think? So hold on. So like really quickly we'll vote. So we're not going to rotate anymore. But do you think it should be all four cannons firing all at once? Or do you think it should be one cannon rotating around? If you think it's one cannon, then type one. And if you think it's all four, then type four. Let me know what you guys think. Because then if it's one rotating around, that's one sequence. If it's all four, it's going click, 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 click. That's another sequence. And I have two monitors. I got one over here for chat and one here for my actual gameplay. So this is high. My webcam's above my gameplay monitor. And the other monitor is the chat. Four. All four at once. Everyone's kind of going with four, right? Yeah, okay, everyone's spamming for, gotcha. And yes, DVD player for the camera. I'm not gonna make a DVD player, um, but I am working on a, a removable storage system for a new camera. All right, so I think that's above there. So if we turn on red, it should just start firing. And it actually is, oh my goodness. Look at how cool that looks. Oh, you're so dead. You're so dead. 
If you if you put this on your look at that, this is a stream. It is a stream of just watermelons. Oh my god, that is so awesome. That is literally that is literally gonna destroy anybody. You can just and you know what? This is the coolest part. We can just move the coordinates while we're telling it to do this. So let's say we want it to go to like I don't know, like X one hundred. There we go. Go to X one hundred and it's just gonna it's gonna move over now. It stopped shooting. It's gonna move to the new coordinate, and then when it gets to X100, it'll start shooting again. I don't remember which way X100. Isn't it that way? Oh my god, that's amazing. That's so good. All right, come on. Where where's X100? You know the GPS thing. GPS. Whoops, I didn't want to screenshot that. Portable GPS. Here we go. Where's X100? Oh, is X100 that way? No. Where are you going? X100 is this way. Okay, so 100 is like here. And that's like 580. So let's give it 100, 590. So it should be going for that. I don't know if it is. It moves pretty slow. Should probably bump up the move speed a little bit. The slower it moves, the more accurate it gets, though. That's the thing, right? Make the cannon points out and slowly pointing in on the target when shooting. Put this on a shirt? Wait, what? Make it move while it moves? Yeah, okay. It's really, it's really, really slow. Is it not... Might need bigger than five. I guess the question is, is it even is it even there? It's, it looks like it's still moving. I can't even tell. Like this is the problem. You can't tell what it's actually. Yeah, I still I feel like it's off still. I think it needs more powerful movement. Okay, you know what? I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put more powerful movement on it, and then we'll bring it back to that coordinate. Okay, come here. Turn you off. Come here. And we'll put a self-destruct on it and, um... Yeah. Make it bomb a cardboard cube. Yeah, we'll make it- we'll make it bomb all sorts of stuff. Make it shoot and move. Yeah, yeah, okay, so you guys want it to shoot in between positions as long as the red light's on, correct? Okay, so then here's the- here's the question then. Do... Do you even want- so do you guys think that, um... Like the coordinates is obviously the coordinates is gonna go to, but do you even want do you even want the coordinates like to to confirm anything? Like it's already gotta go bye bye boy. Make a cool trail while it shoots. Yeah, but does it does it need um like do we even need um like a coordinate confirmation then? It doesn't need a coordinate confirmation then. It'll just shoot automatically in between the coordinates. As soon as you turn this on, it starts shooting. Is that what you guys want? Like, as soon as this turns on, it shoots? Coordinate should confirm. See, that's the thing, right? No, see, because I, I like it like this, because then it only shoots when it's on the coordinates you give it. That way it's not shooting everything. Yes, yes, no, you guys just, you guys don't even, you need, okay, you know what? We're going to do confirm, you know what? We're going to do two, okay? We're going to have one that's just a, that's just a switch. Actually, you know what? No, it'll be a button. And if you hit the red button, it'll just constantly shoot. That's going to be the new thing, okay? So the red button will be like the override shoot button, which will just be like shoot everything all the time. Uh, we'll make it purple? No, we'll make it blue? Okay, 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 we'll do that. We'll do that. That'll go like that. There we go. So that, and then that'll go into that, like that. And then we'll go up here. And then we'll fix this up, because this loop is now useless. We'll put uh, an OR gate here. We'll need that. And we'll need another logic gate here, which will be blue. 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 
with a number number. Apparently my music died. Blue. I don't even you know what? I care that they're not lined up. Okay, and that comes from this thing, and that goes into there. And that goes to the OR gate. And the other thing that goes to the OR gate is where is my other signal? This thing, right? And that blue AND gate only works if the orange AND gate is also lit up, so it's got to be up. Right? Maybe? I hope. My music's dead. Hold on. I'm going to fix that. Yep, yeah, thank you. Place a laser on it facing downwards so you can see how it moves. The problem with the lasers is they don't actually go that far. The laser pointer in the mod pack, it only goes like, like, watch. Look, I know, I know everyone's saying put a laser on it. I'll just let you guys know. Watch. Here's the laser. Uh, here's this. Right? Those, you know, those finite lasers that the government's been developing? what this this what this is so you wouldn't even like see that laser if you saw it up like you would barely see it all right so now i forgot what i was doing all right i need an xor loop again hold on hold on hold on hold on Okay. You know, we're just going to we're just going to move over here cuz I'm worried that it's going to be on and I haven't saved the control console yet. So let's just let's just do this. Uh, and if we hit the red button, I guess we can make that a switch. You know what? Let's just make that a switch. What am I doing? Oh, whoops. I screwed up. Blue switch. Green is on. So there. Blue switch constantly shoots. And if you turn off the blue switch, it'll stop shooting. And then red is shoot when you're on confirmed target. I think. Which we should see when it gets to that target, hopefully. Tell Komodo to get a face cab. A laser would be pretty cool. Yeah, but the laser is not... What is it shooting? It's shooting um, cannons from the mod pack beta. So the cannons shoot watermelons, which explode. There, now, now it's on confirmed target mode. So it's, it's uh, shooting because it's on target. And now if we do something like this and bring it back to, let's say, x equals 0, it'll stop shooting. Once it starts moving, because it is, unless we turn on the blue switch, then it just starts shooting no matter what. So now let's go to x0, let's go to y, I don't know, 5, 400. I don't know where that actually is. It's doing a really good job of shooting that one spot. Is it actually moving? It moves so slow. Oh yeah, you can see it. Okay. We can just, you know, we can just put stuff in the... Where are you going? There, there we go. Just, no, blow that. Perfect. Okay, so we need to make it move faster. It's got to move faster. That's 100%. Hey, what's up, Arbo? Welcome to the stream. Uh, so yeah, blue switch is auto shoot, red switch is shoot only on confirmed coordinates, uh, blue switch is shoot all the time, cause like, you know, you're crazy, and, uh, the black is gonna be the self-destruct button, which we don't have yet. And then, of course, red is only shoot when you've confirmed the target. Okay, and then green is on off.
Okay. Needs more thrust. More thrust. Perfect. Uh, and then what else does it need? It needs uh, self-destruct. Okay, good. Self-destruct is uh, definitely needed. And then what else? Um, it's got shoot on confirmation. It's got regular driving. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, guys. Holy cow. That was a... Uh, that was an explosive sneeze. Um, yeah, this looks nice, doesn't it? This little, this little console. Um, okay, so it's got coordinate set. It's got confirm. It's got fly. It's got that. It needs self-destruct. And then is that it? Is that all we need? Am I missing something? Am I missing anything, guys? Make it move different speeds depending on how far the target is away. Explode the console as well. Oh, that's a good idea. Blow up everything. No evidence. Gotta make sure there's no evidence of the crime. It's a good call. Question is, can I do this without accidentally removing all the buttons? No. There we go. Okay, and then before we before we hook up anything, oh, I lost a button. Okay, let's just weld this all together. Orbital cannon. Save. Yeah, wasn't it? Wasn't this a stream on yesterday? No, I was trying to stream this on Friday, but my internet provider was dead. Like, it wouldn't- I couldn't stream on Friday for some reason. I had, like, a ton of packet loss. I couldn't- it kept dropping frames. Like, so far in this entire stream, we've dropped 59 frames, which is, like, one or two seconds of information. And, uh, in the last stream, it was dropping, like, 30%. So that's why I had to- I had to cancel the stream. I was like, I can't- I can't do this, guys. It's just too- too laggy for everyone. But anyways, okay, so here we go. So those are self-destruct rigged. And then this thing we gotta rig up. And I guess, like, the other thing would be downwards thrusters. Um, but I don't even think we need them, to be perfectly honest. Like, I think this thing is powerful enough without the downwards thrusters that it doesn't really... it doesn't need them. Do I do... do I do, like... I can't really fit that there, eh? I don't want to hide the fact that it has like you know self-destruct all built into it question is is that enough to trigger that center one i think it will be and then we'll just put some you know detail type stuff on it just try and hide a little bit of the fact that it can you know can blow up uh, here we go. And then we'll save it. I'm, I'm not going to test this until I save it 100%. The funny thing about this, though, is now by doing this, we've made the drones hackable. So if you know the color and the frequency that your buddy has his drone on, you could send a self-destruct signal to blow up your buddy's drone without him, 
You know what I mean? Like he he wouldn't even you couldn't even intercept that signal as long as you know. You just you just send it. And I think we're actually gonna paint this. You know, we'll paint it light blue to blend in with the sky, so people don't even notice that it's up there. Although I really don't think that actually works in Scrap Mechanic, the whole camouflage thing, but let's pretend it does. Nice. Perfect. Just gotta be really careful we don't accidentally paint some of that logic that's up top. That would be a really, really bad thing because all the colors on the logic actually matter. That's the, the big thing with the number logic that you have to always think about is the fact that your colors make sense and they have to do certain things. So some of them like you can get away with painting, but some of them you can't. And you gotta just be really careful when you're dealing with it. How is this supposed to... How is he supposed to notice this? That's a good question, Samuel Gaming or Samuel Gaming. Sorry, I know I've been I've been neglecting chat because I've been painting, but I, I do notice you guys. I'm sorry. Sometimes I know everyone feels neglected. Uh, like this one here, for example. We I know that we can paint this one. Um, and we can paint these ones next to it, too. It wouldn't really matter. Put that up there. We can't paint that X there, though, for example. Or that blue one. Uh, pretty sure this one is supposed to be red. Yeah. Whoops, paint this light blue. Okay, perfect. And then, uh, we need to wire up the self-destruct. Which is what, the pink button? Which one's the pink one? This one. So it'll trigger those four, and then the one in the middle should just blow up naturally. All right, so let's uh, let's save this really quick, and then we'll test the self-destruct, and then we'll do some more fine-tuning of some things, and maybe check and see if there's any other features that we're missing that need to be added. All right. So if, if you try and make the cannons move in and out, that will not be so accurate. Do more damage because you have more cannons hitting the same spot. It won't do so much damage. Yeah, so you, like, you're talking about on a controller like loop, like wiggle back and forth. I mean, we can do I can do that. Um, hold on, let's save this, and then, yeah, maybe we'll add that in. That's not really that hard to add in, to be honest. Um, we just gotta make sure we check where the cannons are actually controlled. Make a chess game with the ASCII blocks. We could do that. Alright. Uh, green. Although, actually, to be honest, we don't even need... It doesn't even need to be accurate for self-destruct to work. We just need to... We just need to hit the... Okay. I wonder if it blows up before it sends the signal. Or are these not hooked up? No, they are. I bet you I bet you it blows up before it sends the signal. I would bet $20 says that's exactly what it's doing. So hold on, that's fine. We can put a delay on the signal. We'll just blow this up. Just blow this. I said we'll blow this up. Oh my god, that, that still litters a lot. We might we might need more explosives on it. It's not it's not enough. Okay. So we need to delay the explosion signal. Hold on, here we go. Um, so to do that... 
Whoops. We'll just uh, put a timer underneath it. Password to the destruction? Nah, I'm not gonna... That would be too, so much work and effort to put in, like, a whole password protection thing to prevent yourself from blowing it up. If you blow it up, you blow it up. Um, it'll just have, like, a half-second delay on this one. So it'll blow up there first, and then it'll blow up here. And then, like, you know, it is what it is. Alright, uh... Black's button goes into there. And save this as Orbital Cannon again. Orbital Cannon. Okay. So... Should just blow up. Cool! No evidence. Aside from all this evidence. Still waiting for the super laser? Well, I used Brent Batch's edited laser before, and then I edited the script for it, but um, it's not nearly as effective as these watermelon cannons, to be perfectly honest. Boom. Oh yeah, sorry. I don't have I don't have Streamlabs donations enabled. I probably should do that. I only have donations through YouTube Super Chat. Sorry. But to be honest, if you're just here watching, that's good enough too. You don't have to donate. Don't ever feel obligated to donate. That's that's you know completely completely fine and up to you. Um, what else do we need to do? We need to test the movement speed and make sure the movement's quick. Uh, anything else? Movement speed. I guess we should check how bad the cannon recoil is. The cannon recoil didn't seem to really push it up much, though. I mean, let's, let's... Hold on. Let's just do a dry test of, like, one cannon. How much recoil does a single cannon have? Where are the cannons? No, that's not what I want. Like, I honestly don't think the cannon recoil is enough for us to be concerned with. Maybe I'm wrong. Do, 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 do. There we go. That doesn't even, it doesn't even do anything. Put a duck on it. Like a, a duck. You just got ducked by the cannon. I like I don't think like Is recoil broken? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's got a lot of recoil to be perfectly honest. Um Like, like, literally, like, no recoil. I don't know, Brent, you tell me. Do you think, do you think recoil is broken, Brent? Like, I don't know. I'm gonna, let's do one more, one more test here. Just, to, I don't, like, I literally don't think we're gonna have to do anything to avoid the recoil. I don't think there's enough recoil. I think the weight of that thing is enough to just absorb the recoil. Like, yeah, it's, it might move up a little bit, but... It's, it's already going to want to stay above 2,000 blocks in height anyway. So there's going to be a little bit of up-down fluctuation. But um, I don't think that's a big deal. Like here, let's just slap some wheels on this thing. Of course, I don't even have wheels. Here we go. Like, yeah, I, don't, I honestly don't think we need it. Let's see. What does this do? Let's just, okay, let's just put, there we go. There we go. So there, that's, that's four. Good enough. Okay, well, aside from the fact that the top two blew up. Okay. Oh my goodness. Can we, there we go. Nope, hold on.
Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it, uh, it needs a breath. It's, uh, the recoil is just not there. Like, it is, but, like, look at how minor it is. It's not even... Bye, Mr. Bees. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate you joining the stream. And, uh, yeah, guys, we'll put a duck. We'll put a duck on the cannon, okay? We'll put, we'll put, where's the orbital? Where's the duck? Where's the duck? All right, duck. Check. There's our, there's our duck master. You know, he's gonna be, he's gonna be con gaming green duck. Um, because apparently you guys want a duck on a cannon. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why you need a duck on a cannon, but there's now there's a there's a duck on the cannon, uh, and then we need more explosives for the self destruct stuff. Or do we? Do we really need more explosives? Does it matter that parts fall down? Yeah, you know what? I I kind of want to put just a few more. Right up here. Just to make sure we get all the end pieces. No evidence, guys. No evidence. Alright, and then we'll save this. And then we'll figure out some targets. Bomb them. Make sure they work. And then I'll uh, upload this to the workshop. For you guys. Orbital. I think I'll make another version of this at some point in time. That's uh, a little bit better. But this one's pretty good. Alright, here we go. Orbital cannon. 0, 400. Green. Looks great. Of course, we need to, you know what? We need to cover up the bottom. I just realized there's one serious flaw. Yeah. There's like six parts that fall. That's, that's clearly a problem, though. We need to cover that up. Okay, and then we'll actually... This will be cool. There we go. Problem solved. Orbital cannon. Alright. Yes, save. Thank you. Okay. So, 0, 400. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's get some coordinates here, guys, shall we? So let's just spawn in. Let's get rid of this stuff. Let's spawn in ourselves a bunch of GPS thingies. So, GPS. Portable GPS. Uh, negative 81, 615. And let's put a car. Oh, I'm missing. Oh, I'm missing. God, I'm missing so many mods. Uh, like, Humvee, 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 that's... This is why I use this. You guys always ask, like, why do I have this car? It's because it is vanilla, and so it's easy for me to spawn it no matter what I'm doing. So here we go. So there we go. We'll just, we'll park our car here. Perfect. And, uh... Negative 81, 615. Okay. Add a 10-second counter to the self-destruct and cancel button for canceling the self-destruct sequence. Eh. Nah. You know, if you hit the self-destruct, you just spawn a new one, right? Like, eh, whatever. You just spawn a new one. Otherwise, it blows up. Um, I totally forgot what those coordinates were again. Yeah, I'm not I'm not too worried about that. The self-destruct is just kind of a funny, a funny thing to have. But, I mean, I'm going to be uploading it to the workshop anyway. So, negative 81, 615. Negative 81, 615. Cords of the drone on the drone control pad. I didn't want to do that, and the only reason why I didn't want to put the coordinates of the drone here is because then the drone would have to have three more transmitters, like three more RC blocks coming back. So right now, this is only a transmitter, and this is only receiving. And I like it that way, because the other GPS drone, it had all these transmitters and receivers going back and forth, and it was just a pain in the butt. Um, so this one's just a lot 
easier to do. Um, so negative 81, 615, I believe is what it was, right? So negative uh, 81. Just paint this. And then 615. Or is it 651? Alright, we can just do this. I think it was 650. I, I don't even remember, guys. Six negative 81, 615. Oh, whoops. See, you guys are smarter than me. Negative 81, 615. Dang it. Still don't make a glitch welded cannon laser. Listen, blue, okay? I I I hear what you're saying. But glitch welding cannon lasers. But you know what? We're baby steps, okay? Baby steps. Negative and this was negative 81, right, right. Negative 80, negative 81. I should really just make one button for this, because you can just paint the button whatever color you want to use it in. But anyways, it doesn't matter. All right, negative 81, blah, blah, negative 81, 615, green button, let's go. And uh, red button, fire at will. So it'll fire whenever it has that target in five block range. So whenever it's within five blocks of negative 81, 615, it'll shoot. And then it'll always try to move there. How's the how's the speed? It moves a lot quicker now. That's good. So we should see it. Still moving. Still moving. Still moving. I can't tell if it's shooting or not yet. You, you, honestly, if you had coordinates all over the map and you knew where your buddy was, like, you would, it, no one would have any idea. You'd never be able to look up and see that. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at all those. Oh, look at the initial salvo. Oh, boy. Because it went past the coordinate a little bit. Oh, my goodness. It's just, okay. 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 Yeah. Are you, are you missing? Oh, no. They're just not blowing up the vehicle. Oh, Okay. I think we're spawning too many scripts, guys. Half the scripts don't even blow up. That is amazing. That is actually awesome. And then, uh, okay, so let's just do another coordinate here. Hold on. Let's put another coordinate, like, right here. So, we'll put, you know, let's put a Humvee here. And let's put a GPS coordinate right past it. $5 super chat from the Red Fox 909. Yo, Fortnite just have a live event, the server down, and you're playing Scrap Mechanic. Man, I know, right? I should have been playing the Fortnite live event. Is that is that what you're saying? 78518. 78518. 78518. 78518. Uh, we're going to turn on auto fire and we're going to go from 78518. So this one's going to go down and up. And this one's going to go to 78. There we go. Auto fire's on. So blue is enabled. So it should just constantly shoot. And we should see a line of explosives move from there through that truck and blow up that. That, that truck is... Honestly, I think we dropped so many explosives that half the explosives don't do anything. This is great, though. This is... Okay, can we... Are we moving? I gave you new coordinates. Did you? Did we get it? We get it. We get it. We get it. That target has been bombed. Oh, it is moving. It's just really slow. See, it might need to be even faster still.
too heavy. Yeah, it needs to be a little bit faster. Yeah, I know, I know. We're gonna we'll make it move faster. Bye, Pio Sam, Pio. I hope I said that right. Sorry. Turn the sweet switch on and off. I mean, that shouldn't make a difference. It's just gonna move down and then move back up. See? It it's still it's moving. It's just really slow. It needs faster thrusters. Hold on. Let's let's do this. Alright, we'll put more, we'll put more thrust on it. And then I'll upload this to the workshop, and uh, we'll end the stream if this works better. I just want to make sure it tracks properly. The only thing with faster thruster speed is now when you give it an initial coordinate, it might go past the coordinate before it comes back to actually meet the coordinate, but that's not really a big deal. It should have still eventually get there. Um, green fire only on target. Uh, zero four. I don't know where zero four hundred is. Shoot. Let's go over here. Okay, apparently zero four hundred is back there. Uh, negative fifty seven five eighty four. Negative fifty seven five eighty four. Stop. What? Okay. Negative 57, 584. Bow, bow, bow. Negative 57, 584. You guys are awesome, man. All right, green. You can see even if it kind of lands weird, it doesn't even matter. It'll eventually just, you know get itself to the right position anyways once it uh once it stables out negative 57 584 right yeah there's no lag guys if you got lag refresh we have had like 0.5 percent frame drop so it's been great we haven't dropped that many frames at all today it's been a good good day for the internet all right you're good confirm one on target, you can shoot. Guys, refresh. If you have lag, hit the refresh. Hit the refresh. It's okay. Okay, perfect. See, it overshoots now. Oh my god, look at look at that. Look at all the, the spread on that. Because it moves past the point, and then comes back to the point, and then moves past the point again. See, that's why we need lower thrust. I mean, it eventually still hits the target. But, like, look at that. Look at that spray pattern. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna drop the thrust by one. And then, uh... Because that's just... It's a little bit too much of a spread. I'm gonna drop by one, and then we'll end the stream. So let's just, uh... Sweet. No evidence. Alright, so we'll do this. We'll leave it at that. It's a little bit slower, but then that way at least it's not gonna, uh... Go too much past the target. Orbital cannon. And we will just flip this here, and we'll just make sure we can blow this up. So let's check what this is. This is, uh, 78,518. What's up? Okay, I'm almost done. 78,518. Alright. Make a console blows up when someone shoots down the drone. Yeah, I saw that, but then again, we'd have to have transmitters going back from the drone to the to the console, and I don't I don't have that yet. So we'll just leave it as is for now, and um, yeah, and then you know what it is what it is. Well, maybe we'll make a better version of it or something at some point in time, and uh, yeah, seventy eight five eighteen. 
78, 518. Okay. 78, 518. Okay. Green. Red. Shoot on target. Oh, no. I forgot to paint a piece of TNT. I will do that, and then we'll upload it. So we will do this, we'll finish this up, and then I'll upload it to the workshop so you guys can have some fun with it. And then I think I will probably make another version of it at some point in time that's a little bit more powerful. Um, maybe doesn't use cannons, maybe uses something else. Who knows? But uh, yeah, we'll find out. I don't know. And yeah, guys, I know you guys are seeing a little bit of lag. Um, yeah, I'm seeing a little bit too. I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, oh, it shot the driver's seat. Yeah, see, it, it goes past a lot more. But then I guess once it zeroes out, it centers, it's good to go. Yeah, and then of course, self-destruct. Now your friend's like, where? Wait, look at that, look at that. If the cannon disappears, the watermelons stop exploding. And they eventually just despawn, that's hilarious. All right, so let's paint this last thing and then we will save this, upload it to the workshop and then you guys can all have a look at it. Let me know what you think. And yes, there is a little bit of lag now. I know, I'm sorry guys, something's happened with the stream. Save, replace. All right, here you guys go. I will upload it with some instructions. Of course, perfect, perfect. There we go, uploaded, done. Uh, let me get the link for you guys so you guys can have it. Let me find the said link. Uh, my workshop. Public. Copy page URL. Here you guys go. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. If you guys want it, there it is. I will put some instructions with it a little bit later. You need the mod pack and the mod pack beta, of course, to use it. Um, and I will, of course, let you know, and I'll put that in the description. We're going to end the stream there. We are starting to get a little bit of stream lag. I think my internet provider is dying again. Something's really messed with my internet. Uh, I'm noticing the packet loss is increasing. So there is a little bit of lag. I'm sorry for that, guys. Um, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's being stupid. It's just my internet provider again. But uh, I'll keep trying to stay on top of them and hopefully get this fixed permanently but i don't know what the deal is but of course let me know what you guys think in the comments down below uh let me know how you think we can improve it i'd like to make a better version of this at some point in time but i don't think i'd stream it i want to make something that's a little bit you know more robust long term take a couple of your suggestions like the suiciding the drone blows up the console all that stuff but hit that like button hit that subscribe button and as always i hope you guys enjoyed the stream and we'll see y'all next time bye